in step number 3 we have compared the three shear stresses step number 3 the first comparison is tau c max is more than tau bd is more than tau c when tau c max is more than tau b more than tau c shear as well as longitudinal reinforcement longitudinal reinforcement required that means we have to design the shear and longitudinal required longitudinal reinforcement both in second comparison tau c max is more than tau c okay is more than tau b when permissible shear stress in concrete is more than a uh, equivalent shear stress in concrete so in this case shear reinforcement is not required in this case shear reinforcement is not required but but design minimum shear reinforcement but design minimum shear reinforcement in form of in form of vertical stirrups in form of vertical stirrups with the reference of IS 4 by 6 page number 4 the reference of IS 456 2000 and page number 48 whatever we have done in last semester in DCS 1 in design steps of shear that same you have to do in this case also longitudinal reinforcement is required also, longitudinal reinforcement is required. Okay, and finally, when tau v is more than tau c max, when tau v is more than tau c max, is more than tau c, when tau v is more than tau c max, so this is a very dangerous case. So when equivalent shear stress is more than maximum permissible shear stress in concrete so you have to redesign the section you have to redesign the section redesign the section or or change the grade of concrete or change the grade of the concrete or increase or increase width of beam now increasing width of beam the effect of equivalent shear force reduces when equivalent shear force reduces obviously the reduction in tau V D and this value is become less than tau c max so these three consideration you have to do and go for the further steps now what exactly you have to do in design of the longitudinal reinforcement okay shear reinforcement longitudinal reinforcement you have to design both in this case now for this in step number 4 or this in step number 4 step number 4 now design of longitudinal reinforcement design of Design of 
longitudinal reinforcement. Design of longitudinal reinforcement. Design of longitudinal reinforcement means you have to design the horizontal steel at bottom and top. Provided longitudinal in the beam. When you want to design the longitudinal reinforcement, the first requirement is the bending moment. For which bending moment you are going to design the longitudinal reinforcement? So in torsion, so in torsion, the longitudinal reinforcement is designed for bending moment ME1. Page number 75. Clause number 41.4.2 Design of Longitudinal Reinforcement. Directly you have to refer this page from IS 456 and do the further steps. That means longitudinal reinforcement, longitudinal reinforcement is Designed for designed for bending moment ME1 designed for bending moment ME1. So ME1 is the equivalent bending moment. ME1 is the equivalent bending moment like the equivalent shear force. Okay. What is the ME1? How it is calculated? The formula is directly given in IS code. ME1 is equal to MU plus MT. See, ME1 is the equivalent shear force, equivalent bending moment. ME is the ultimate bending moment. And MD is the extra bending moment developed due to the effect of a torsion. Okay. So, what is the ME1? ME1 is the equivalent bending moment. It is the equivalent. Bending moment, okay. What is the MU? MU is the ultimate bending moment. Ultimate bending moment, and what is the MT? MT is the extra bending moment. MT is the extra bending moment developed due to the effect of torsion. Developed. Due to effect of torsion moment. Okay. Now, how the MT is calculated? Again, this formula is available on page number 75. MT is equal to, it is given directly. Okay. MT is equal to, in this case, that is PU into 1 plus capital D by B divided by. 1.7. Okay. This formula is available on page number 75. Page number 75. IS 456-2000 version. Again, this formula is available on page number 75. IS 456-2000 version. Okay. So, the TU? TU is the ultimate torsion moment. Capital D and capital B, uh, sorry, small b, these are the dimensions of a beam. Okay. So, TU is the ultimate torsional moment. Okay. Capital D is the overall depth of beam. Okay. Small b is the Small b the width of it. Like this, you have to find out the ME1, and for this ME1, you have to design the longitudinal reinforcement at bottom. And for now, what again one thing is as per the IS code, if numerical value of MT when the numerical value of MT exceeds the numerical value of MU. Okay, when the numerical value of MT exceeds the numerical value of MU, 
you have to design the compression reinforcement. You have to design the compression reinforcement. If it is not compression reinforcement is not required. Okay. If numerical value of mt exceeds the numerical value of m u as per the IS 4 by 6, you have to design the compression reinforcement for bending moment m e2. Compression reinforcement for bending moment m e2 is nothing but mt minus m u. For m e2, you have to design the compression steel. For m e2, design compression steel. Design the compression steel. Okay. When mt exceeds m u, for M E two, you have to design the compression steel, okay, for the difference of M T and M, okay. So this is regarding the design of a longitudinal reinforcement. Let I am moving next step. Step number five. Step number five. What is the step number 5? Now in step number 5, you have to design the shear reinforcement. Step number 5, design, design, shear reinforcement. Design, shear reinforcement. What exactly the design of shear reinforcement? Design of a shear reinforcement is nothing but you have to assume the proper form of a shear reinforcement and provide the spacing. So, the general form of a shear reinforcement is the vertical stirrups. So, assume, assume form of a shear reinforcement, assume two legged vertical stirrups. It is the form of a shear reinforcement and find out the spacing and find out the spacing. So, how the spacing is calculated? The spacing for the calculation of the spacing, the IS code gives two formula. Using this formula, you have to find out the spacing between the stirrups and calculate spacing using following formula. Calculate the spacing using following formula. That formula is given here. That is ASV is equal to ASV is equal to PU into SV divided by B1 D1 into point D7 FY plus VU into SV divided by 2.5 D1 into this formula. This formula. Okay, on page number 75. P U into S V divided by B1 D1 into point distance F Y. So this formula is available on page number 75 of IS 456 2000 version. Okay. And again another formula. So this is one formula, another formula is ASV is equal to ASV is equal to tau VE minus tau C divided by point 87 FY and you have to multiply B into SV. Using these two formula, you have to find out the spacing. Okay? Use this formula for calculation of spacing of the stirrups. Use this formula to calculate the spacing of the stirrups. And provide the proper space. Now, what are the meanings of these terms? What is the TU? What is the SU? SV? Okay. So, basically, SV is the spacing of stirrups. Spacing between the stirrups. Okay. What is the ASV? What is the meaning of this term? Already we know this mean term. In last semester, what is the ASV? ASV is the area of one stirrups bar. Area of one 
स्टीरस पार मल्टीप्लाइड बाय लेक्स दिस इज एसवी एसवी स्पेस ऑफ स्टीरस पी इज अल्टीमेट ट्रांसिशन मोमेंट v is ultimate shear force okay so what is it tu tu is the ultimate torsional moment and vu is the ultimate shear force shear force now what is the b1 d1 i will tell you what is the meaning of b1 Now, as per the IS four five six, you have to find out the spacing between the two stirrups using this formula. But the spacing between the two stirrups should not be more than should not be more than some value. That would be refer from page number forty eight. Now I am going to exactly on page number forty eight. Page number forty-eight. Yes, the page number forty-eight. Yeah. Okay. So as per the IS, the spacing calculated from these two formulas should not be more than should not be more than three values. Okay. Now you got this spacing of speeders. Calculated from this two formula should not be more than as per the IS code. The spacing of steers spacing of steers should not be more than. Okay. First criteria is x one. Second criteria is x one plus y one by four. And third criteria is three hundred mm. So this is available on page number forty eight. These all criteria are available on page number forty eight. Is four five six two thousand in class number. Twenty six point five point one point seven. Two thousand twenty six point five point one point seven. Under the heading distribution of torsion reinforcement. Distribution of torsion reinforcement. Now exactly, I am going to tell you what is the B one D one. What is the X one Y one? Okay. So that I want to sketch here. One figure, okay. So this is the beam. This is the beam, okay. And this is the reinforcement provided. This is the uh, alignment of the reinforcement, okay. When the reinforcement is provided at top, this is called the compression reinforcement. And the reinforcement provided at bottom is called a tension reinforcement. Okay. So this is the width of beam, and the center to center distance between these two bars are nothing but the B one. So this B one, what we have to use in that previous formula. Okay. So this is the capital D overall depth of the beam. Okay. And this is the D one. D one means. Central central distance between these two reinforcement vertically. Okay. Now, now if we want to provide the steers, if we want to provide the steers like this, okay. If you want to provide the steers like this, okay. So, what is the X one? X one is the distance. From center to center distance between the steers legs, center to center distance between the steers leg. So this is the x one. Okay. 
So x1 is the center to center distance between this T left leg horizontally and y1 is the center to center distance between the T left leg T left leg vertically. So to find out all these things, we have to find out all these things, put in this formula and design the shear reinforcement and design the shear reinforcement.